Hi, I'm Amy, and this is my husband, Greg. That's me. I'm Ashlyn, and I'm married to Paul. That's me. And I'm Kyle. I'm Lauren. So, I'm Evan. I'm Jaden. And I'm Brooklyn. I'm Autumn. I'm Jensen. Hi, I'm Madeline. I'm Stevie. And, and we're, we're the Marriott's. Welcome to our large family vlog. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Okay, today I thought I would show you all the foods that I'm gonna prepare for our day, what we're gonna eat today, what we're gonna eat over the next couple days actually, because I'm gonna make some freezer foods along with the regular foods that we have today. So one thing, it is hot outside, it is hot, hot, hot. And so yesterday when I went shopping, you saw it about a little package of popsicles, those will not last long. And so this month I decided I was gonna make um, smoothie pops. And so that is something I'm gonna do and make those up so we can put them in our little Dixie cups and then, um, freeze them so the kids have a healthy alternative to sugar popsicles and then for breakfast today they had cereal because they like cereal and then for um and then they also is that it yeah and i'm gonna have a smoothie i'm gonna make up my smoothie i got my smoothie pack right here so i'm gonna mix this up for me first and then i'll do the kids smoothie with yogurt and then for lunch we're gonna do pizzas i pulled out the flatbread pockets and i also had some of that nan or non bread from all these that I just froze, there was a few pieces left, so I'm gonna use that. Pull out cheese and a frozen thing of pizza sauce. So we're gonna make that for lunch. For dinner, I was going to make um, some homemade macaroni and cheese. So I pulled out my freezer, nacho cheese, not nacho, cheddar cheese. And then, remember I got that big package of Little Smokies? And I was like, oh, I thought they were hot dogs, but they're Little Smokies. I am gonna make some cornbread like little corn dog cups, I guess. It's like cornbread with the little smokies in it. Someone recommended it, that in a muffin cup. And I'm like, ooh, that'll be a neat little dinner. So we're gonna do that. And I pulled out three bags. Three bags of miscellaneous vegetables. It says, we're trying to gather up what's in the freezer because there's an awful lot in the freezer and I don't wanna lose anything. So gathering those up and then I'm gonna have that for dinner tonight. So it's gonna be an easy day. So I thought, I'm gonna start this morning. I'm gonna make up my yogurt first and freeze it and then that way the kids will have a nice treat for the day. So you can watch, I'm not gonna do any cleaning. I'm not gonna do anything else today. I'm just gonna do food in this video. So okay, let's go get our blender and get a smoothie for myself. Okay, for myself, I just like, you see my dishes over there, we haven't put away yet. For myself, I just like coconut milk in my little pack. So all I do is put my little pack inside the blender this has bananas and um pineapple strawberries there is spinach chia seeds i say chia seeds some flax seeds and coconut and that's it and, and banana, you know, bananas frozen i'm gonna add a little bit of milk here i always add way too much milk and then turn it on Or it could be super frozen. I always think to microwave it, and I'm like, yeah, I'll just shove it in the blender. Okay, so here's my smoothie. I'm gonna put it in my coffee cup because I realized I was thinking, where's my Starbucks cup at? It's all my car still under my seat. So this way I can just add to this for the other kids. I'm gonna actually take this and put some granola on it. Let me show you that. I like granola on top. I don't like it mixed in. Some people put the um, oatmeal mixed into it, but I don't like that it makes it uh, too, um, what's the word? Gummy, I guess. So I just put some on top for about half a cup. And then I'm gonna scoop this out and eat this. Okay, so now I'm gonna make up the smoothie mix for the kids' popsicles. Actually, I've gathered the fragrance and I have the last one. Okay, so next I'm gonna make smoothie pops. So I always never put um, the yogurt in the bottom because I fail on that. There's the yogurt. Dog's barking. Yummy yogurt. Just plain yogurt. Falls out really easy. And then I'm gonna add bananas. Got very midly from all these. We'll add all that. And the secret ingredient that nobody will know about. But Jensen, because he's here. Ew! <laughs> disgusting, disgusting 
something nobody knows but me. I'm that. You will love it. Let me actually add a little bit more yogurt here on top, about half a jar. I'm usually always about overfilling. I know. Okay, so I got one tray down, I'm gonna put it in the freezer here. And then when it's pretty much thawed, we'll put our thawed. When it's frozen, we'll stick popsicle sticks in it. Smoothies. Okay, so kids have been done eating breakfast, and then I had a little bit of ice cream in my container, so on each of them, so I said eat that up. Um, smoothies are in the freezer, and so now I'm gonna mix up macaroni and cheese and the what else? The little hot dog, corn dog thing. So I actually, I'm gonna take these and pour these all into my bowl. No, they're pretty. Spicy ones. No, no, these aren't spicy. <laughs> Just because they're really frozen. And this way, see how they even have freezer burn. They've been in there for a little while. That's actually a lot. That's a lot of veggies. Always overflowing. Always overflowing. You know, I'm gonna shove this whole bag in here and then let it microwave down. Oh yeah. Yes, I am. Overflowing like a mountain looks like this. And I'll put it in the microwave. I'll, I'll heat this up now. Pot of water for macaroni and cheese. They like macaroni and cheese along with a lot of it. Okay, for my cornbread mixture, I'm just gonna do the one that we all have always made forever. And you can go over to my blog, plain, not so plain.com, and get the recipe, it's over there. I'm gonna do one and a half cups of cornmeal, one and a half cups of flour, I'm gonna do the white whole wheat flour. A cup of sugar, I'll do a little bit less. One and a half teaspoons of salt, three heaping teaspoons of baking powder, and then I'm gonna mix into that two eggs, one and a half cups of milk, and three tablespoons of butter.
Okay, so I'm gonna put silicone, silicone, silicone liners in here so I don't have to wash these. Put a hot dog cut up and pour the batter on top. And then the rest, I'm gonna put in here and just put these in the microwave for anybody that says, I don't like cornbread. So we're going to bake these at 350. They should turn out good. I'm going to turn the oven on first. I want to preheat for a minute. Okay, so my leftover cornbread, I'm just going to put it in a pan and make it because we like cornbread just plain too. Okay, so I just added nutritional yeast to this just because I have some and I haven't been using it, so I'm like, I need to use that up. It just gives a little bit more, a new, more nutrition added to it and better flavor. So I have a big chunk of nacho cheese. I actually had to add more milk. I'm using all my kids' milk for cereal. I could make powdered milk up. I don't want to, so I'm just gonna use regular. So you wanna kinda do it because you're gonna put it in the oven. I'm gonna bake this real low. After the 350, I'll probably, actually I'll probably put it in right after, and then just for a short amount of time. So that big chunk of cheese is gonna sit in the middle, and then I'll, after it kind of thaws, I'll stir it again, so. Okay, so I had some potatoes, red potatoes, that I found in the bag, and they were all gross and disgusting. I'm like, ooh. So I had to dump out what was smelly, and then, um, and then I had to, um, I went through and picked out and I just chopped them up real easy and put them in this pan. I'm gonna cut up some more of these and then I'm gonna do that little seasoning because that was really good in the oven. When you find something going bad instead of throwing it away, gather up those fragments and make something. So that's what I'm gonna do. Even though there's nothing really to go with, the potatoes, somebody will eat them. Okay, so that's the lazy mama's way. Not lazy, busy mama's way, hold on, of doing the potatoes. You can put them in a bowl and pour the oil on. Chop them up all perfect and dice them all nice sized pieces. But you can also just like just drizzle the oil on and put the stuff on there and just kind of do a couple flips and flops and you're good to go. So I'm waiting on oven. You can't tell, but it's smoky in here from remember my last, my burrito. 
casserole that went over side of the oven. I'm like, oh, it's like smoky in here. So I need to make sure I clean my oven after this meal. So key in the summer, when you're doing some baking, do a bunch of it at one time. So you're not just heating your oven up for just one dish. So you see today, cooking my cornbread, cooking those little cornbread things. We'll be having those for multiple meals. Decided to do these as well. We're gonna do pizzas for lunch. Gonna make the macaroni and cheese. Everything's gonna go in the oven. And that way it's just heated up one time. So that is a good way to be resourceful with your, I don't know, appliances, oven, <laughs> utilities you have to pay for, I think is the word, so. Okay, so this is good. So macaroni and cheese, I added, um, it's just in there. I'm gonna do the pizza, I'm gonna do the pizzas. I'll mix the pizzas up, I'll show you how I'm gonna do them. Some of these are frozen solid, so I'm like, because we didn't get to them in time. It's okay, if it doesn't go, if it doesn't, we'll just leave those ones out. So leave yeah. that out. We'll actually just leave those out. Next thing, just grabbed a, a popsicle stick. She's like, I got it. Yeah. She's like, I'm gonna have it. Yeah, the ones that are frozen, leave those out. We will just let those, just let them thaw for a few minutes. Will that go in there? No, okay. We'll just leave them out, let them thaw for a minute. Okay, let's see where else. Okay, so we're getting them all put away, so then these will be delicious and we'll put them in bags. Okay, so even though oven, I'm still waiting on oven, we're gonna gather up fragments and make pizzas for lunch. So I cut up the rest of that lunch meat, so I'll have three things for pizza, so I'm gonna put these in the freezer. Okay, so these look great, look at, look how cute these are. And then we'll pull the bottoms, and there they are, look at. Delicious, sounds like a hot dog and cornbread. So I'm gonna put these in my pans for dinner. Brooklyn and I did compromise. I took her cornbread batter and she took the hot dogs out. So nothing better than butter and cornbread. So good. Mm. Love it. It's got to be a sweet cornbread, not the yeah, salty one. Sweet sweet so that's my northern cake. roots. Okay, I'm gonna cover this with foil.
Okay, you can see that they're totally not frozen completely. Like the sticks are coming up, but that's okay because they're gonna go right back in the freezer. Okay, I just took my pieces out, so I'm gonna put the fries in and let this cook at like 400. Okay, there's the pizzas. Those are done. And there's the cornbread. Okay, so you can see this piece of hair constantly because I cut my hair. Okay, so dinner, everything's done. Well, almost. Here is the sweet potatoes. Those gotta cook a little bit more. If you want them to go faster, put some more oil on it. I'm okay just to let them cook away. So these are gonna be delicious. Macaroni and cheese looks great, so we're gonna serve that with the little hot dog things under here. And then we also have these for the kids that don't want cornbread and veggies. If you want some cornbread, you can. So inside the freezer. <laughs> okay, I actually opened the freezer to show my popsicles. It dropped everything out of the freezer. So I'll show you this freezer. So popsicles are sitting right there. That's good. We'll be having those today. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. It's going to be a little bit shorter video today. My food. I'm doing everything else in the day. We're doing school right now. Cleaned up the house. We're actually washing the girls' bedding. The girls did the deep clean downstairs for me today because it takes a little bit busy day for me. And so they helped out doing all that. And then we're just going to keep doing school, doing school with kids. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Some food. Maybe gave you some food ideas. They're delicious. Go ahead and go make yourself some cornbread. What are they called? Hot dog cornbread muffins. And you can freeze them too. So, okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Adios.